Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. It has been a few days since I last played. It's been a couple of days since we last uploaded an episode. In between times there was the live stream, so I didn't play for a while. We didn't upload things for a while, so it was a bit of a gap, bit of a rest, bit of a break. We're back. We are on week 57, in fact, of this thing. It's been more than a year since the Stalwart Stagecoach brought the original set of intrepid explorers to our dusty shores. And those people have now become, well, in fact those people are still level 4 because we don't really use them as much, but we have a whole host of level 5 people in the previous episode. Let's recap. We sent a DPS heavy team into the ruins, a level 1 short mission to get some money, and they succeeded with a plum. A plume? With, with a plum line. There is another short apprentice mission in the Warrens. And that's basically it for this you, this group. But this group did really well. So Jairus is the one that has the most stress right now. Everyone else is great. Viz picked up rabies, but we don't really mind Viz having rabies because it actually slightly improves him because he can do a lot more damage even though there's less accuracy. And we still have all the trinkets that we had in the last one. So why don't we just go ahead and embark on this mission and see if we can do just as well this time as we did last time. We'll take some stuff like this and this. We'll take some of those. I think we'll take just 12 food. This could be dangerous. Um, because it might not be enough. There may be three hunger pangs, maybe four hunger pangs, and there may be reasons to eat on the way. But I'm kind of relying on the medicinal herbs giving us more food on the way. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If we come back stressed, we come back stressed. Um, that's fine. We did go to the ruins last time. We were going to the Warrens this time, which is a different set of problems. But it's still only a level one mission, so those problems are not quite as... You know, they're not to the same magnitude as they could be if we were taking... Uh, a more experienced crew to a more difficult run. So we need to do 90% of runes, which is basically all but that one. Uh, so we might as well go well, all but this one, but we, we know what's on the way here. So it's worth making sure we do at least one of these two corridors. We might sort of do this thing and get them all, because in the last mission we actually did really well. We managed to cover every single room. We took a key. We've even got a key now in case we found a secret room. We didn't then. We may not now. Are you in the right order? I think so. We'll just find out. Uh, don't walk into the trap. I believe it's Martinus. Is that Martinus? It's Erasmus. Who is the best at disarming traps. But I'm wondering whether maybe we get someone who's slightly less likely, but has got some stress to do it. Well, well, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the 10% for you. I was going to say to, to de-stress them slightly, but that didn't work out at all, so... DT, good start. We knew there was nothing in this room, but we don't know about this room. Honestly, there's no reason... You dodged that one that you didn't know about. There's no reason not to use a torch when it's not inefficient to do so. There's the food that we were hoping for. And I remembered to use Sir Jairus, the antiquarian, to open that and we found some... Uh, found an antique in there. only the strength to follow it. So we found a crap load of food just now. Uh, so we didn't really need to pay any money at all, unfortunately. But it is what it is. There hasn't been a single room battle yet. There's one there with some treasure. We might as well go for it because we need to get... We're here for treasure. We want we want the, the money. The food is great. The stress that DT... DT... Uh, suffered on that was not brilliant. But... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was hoping to de-stress and said I got end-stressed, but... We'll live. Um, this is not turning out so well simply because the reason we're here is not actually... Oh! Forgot to use the antiquary. My mistake. Uh, it's not actually presenting itself. We're not getting too many opportunities to actually collect goodies. Which is why we're here. You are going to do a lunge against presumably the one that will Good. Uh, cause us diseases, which is something we'd like to avoid where possible. Uh, maybe we can try and stun something. 
We could Beast Spile, but it will only do this one, and it doesn't have any protection anyway. Therefore, not worth doing. Probably just want to transform. I think this gives us the opportunity to move forwards again with a slam, which will knock back the one we attack. It has a stun. No, no stun. But it will knock it back, which may force it to do something that it would not no normally otherwise do. Uh, marked. Stunned. Less prop. I guess I don't care. The only thing is we can't hit the back at all. It's going to be a problem because that one's going to do some stress to us. Kind of also don't really care. Just hit that. Try and spread out some damage. We could kill this. We will kill this if we hit it. Which we did. So there's some stress on Sajarius again. Honestly, if you're going to focus all the stress on one unit, happy with that. Ball and Chain is a move, is it not? It's a stun. Okay. I'm also okay with that. Uh, a Rake does the first two. A Rage will hit this one. And it can... It just does a lot of damage. Whatever. Uh, finish him on this. We're going to have to get rid of some of these corpses now, unfortunately. But that's... Uh... It's just the way of it. We did dodge uh, a Stress Attack there, which is also extremely nice. We could kill this. This is exactly how it went down. So, thank you, Erasmus, for that amazing, um, amazing attack just now. Push on to Extremely the good. End. There we go. I'm gonna probably come back to this. I would rather go to a secret room than open that chest. And we did only bring one key, but it will not be too upsetting. I suppose, if we had to come back. Uh, let's just ensure that it gets disarmed. Excellent. You're supposed to be here. Great. So this is going fine. I don't... Uh, it's, it's a nicer morsel, a bite size. It's a pack of fries. Rather than an entire burger. To come back to Darkest Dungeon with after a few days. Ah, oh, use the Antiquarian. Hold. Point at the Antiquarian. This is bad timing. I knew about it as well, which is a shame. So we'll try and lunge against this one again. Might as well crank the torch up now. Doesn't really help. Obliterated. Perfect. Doesn't remove the corpse. I think you have to crit to do that. I would like to be able to... Uh, get rid of this unit if possible, but unfortunately Erasmus is the only one who can do that. And that's going to be until the next round as well. In which case, we should at least make sure that Erasmus has the opportunity to do that. So we'll put that thing over there. Collect Bounty is 7 to 15. That's a good chance of killing. Or we could ensure a kill on that one. But I think, yeah, we take the reasonably high chance to kill. Over what? You know, it's not normally my uh, my mode d'emploi, no. My raison d'etre, no. The one that means the thing that I do. Um, normally I would go for the guaranteed kill over the not guaranteed kill, but it was almost a guaranteed kill. Can we talk about how you just had two goes? I guess we can't. I might as well mark this. I don't know if it does anything. Just debuff it. Less prop. Whatever. Transform back. Give everyone a little bit of stress relief. And uh, absolve yourself, I suppose. Real HP, stress HP, vinegarating vapors. I just want Erasmus to have a go. Why is this not happening? Because of this, basically. It's not even a question, I'm just Decimated. complaining. Fill in the time. There we go, we're done. We've got another Victory's shovel, which has yet so to. Too will resistance. Yet to rear any. Yet to bear any fruit, shall we say. Hoping to find a secret room from a cunning scout here. If not, we can go back here, or maybe we'll find a second chest and just open that one instead. Why are you not selected? No shushing. Move on. So we've got some decent money already. Not as much as we could have had. Stop talking. But not as much as we could have had. Although we can probably sell that. Uh, but more than we would have had, had we not brought the uh, Antiquarian. Probably not going to touch those scrawlings. I don't know of a way of making sure that they're safe. Uh, we're in the wrong place, but okay. Destroyed. Kinda don't mind that we're in this position, because it's actually a decent one. 
Uh, okay. So this has to be in this shape. In that, uh, in the, in human shape. Usually. Which is great. Okay, done. I think it's worth the stress damage, even though Sajiris there is on the verge of losing it completely. So we're going to have to make sure that Viz doesn't transform again, I think. And hope that Sajiris does not get any further um, attacked by the stress dealing units. I guess we try the room we don't know. Good. Not really what we wanted. Bleed? I bleed. Bleed's okay, I think it's just it's two two for three rounds, so let's uh use this one bandage. There's more food over here actually. So that's why we brought this. Yeah, fine. <laughs> we can sell this food back for a pittance, I suppose. It's not that great. But it's not horrible. Spiders. We can cut with spiders. I would have liked to have not forgotten to move my units around, but okay. Do this. I'm not sure about it, but it's what we're doing, so it is what it is. Web is a stun. Probably going to be resisted. The debuff was just... Ah. <clears throat> the debuff was resisted as well. <coughs> when I looked at that and realised it wasn't enough damage, I couldn't stop myself from clicking anyway, but Erasmus has taken and thus avoided all the damage so far, which is... Outstanding. Thank you. Now this is another one of those cases where you don't try for the kill. Because there was a chance that it did kill, or at least... I think it was like 6 to 8 damage or something. There was a chance that it was a kill. And if it wasn't a kill, it stunned it. So that was also probably more sensible. Good fucking grief. Uh, do you know what? Here's a scout. Secret room. No secret room. In that case, we go back to this and open it. Get rid of everything that's not valuable. Or at least not as valuable as what is in the chest. Make sure we use the gyrus to open the chest. Now I think about it. It is possible for walking around to have a, another random encounter, even if you've already been down the corridor. So we should be prepared for that by having our units in the correct positions. In fact, that being said, this seems like a more correct position for that. Because it means that Viz can always do something. Oh, does it? No, it doesn't, does it? Because Viz's positioning... Actually, no, I was right. When Erasmus ends up here, these are Viz's preferred positions. These are uh, DT's preferred positions. So it makes sense that if Erasmus is going to go here, everyone shuffles up. It's great. The only problem is that then Erasmus shadow fades back. But we haven't done that, really. Uh, nope, we're going up. There we go. We'll open this chest with the Antiquarian. That's their job. Open the chest. Wealth oh, beyond I meant to press that. <laughs> that was uh, foolish beyond belief. But, okay. Shouldn't have thrown my spades away. Okay, that was a slightly substandard from a min-maxi standpoint mission. Wasn't necessarily paying attention to everything quite correctly. Um... Like, we threw away those shovels, that was a few extra gold, right? We missed a couple of these by not using Sajaris to open the things that we did open when we didn't get those. But we're not dead. No one's gone, you know, no one's gone completely stressed out that they have a an affliction. Viz has now got the scurvy, which means we will be putting him into the, the sanitarium. Not allowed to visit the brothel is fine. Crit range skills is okay, that's pretty good, and... This has replaced the yips, which I think is fine. So we'll return to town and we'll put a couple of people in for stress relief. In but Viz time, is mostly going in for the tragic extent of my de failings. Uh de diseasing. Uh, we want to get rid of scurvy. And if we happen to get rid of rabies as well, all the better. Hemzy, what's your affliction? Bad humours. Less max HP. Could turn out to be a problem if it went in for a boss fight, but Holmesy, these people are all low level, so boss fights are currently high level, that won't be a problem. Let's sort by no stress. Just gonna basically put Sajiris at the top. Dark Chojin's kinda of stressed out as well. He's not allowed to visit the brothel, but 
But, and it weren't prey either, but who cares. We now have 23,000. We came back with a, basically a 5,000 uh, net bonus on that. Let's have a look to see if we can do a second mission. If we can, maybe we should. I mean, I don't want to do a medium or long mission because it will push the episode too long, but... Like, I also can't really afford to do a... A quick mission like that. Except maybe to level some people up. Uh, because... The the people that would... Well, basically the, the, the antiquarian that would cause us to get the most out of the mission is unavailable. So maybe we start taking people like... What have we got? One, two, three, four. This doesn't really work. Because Erasmus is going to move around so much. Which is going to interrupt Holmes's ability to heal. Divine Grace can only be used from the back too. And Dutch has to be at the back. Which means unless we give Erasmus the same trinkets. Which we could do. Holmes is not going to be much use. She can heal from the second position here. It's, it's going to have to be a party heal, which is actually turning out to be pretty good. I think I think we can do this because it's an easy enough mission, right? It's an apprentice level mission. These people will get some HP. Uh, I mean, we just did one without a healer at all, so the healer is only going to be that much more of a bonus. And then Vague at the front. So when Erasmus moves to here, everyone moves into optimum positions, apart from Erasmus, who's in a less than optimum position, but Vague can do well in the first two positions, and that's really all that count, all, all that matters at this stage. Um, mm. We will do the trinkets, but unfortunately we're going to have to do this thing where we take them all back, and then give them back. Uh, move resist, whatever. Not going to camp. Yep. We're probably not going to use the move skill on that unit anyway. And then I guess just more damage in general. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're going to be out of position one occasionally. Couldn't care less. You know, call me when I give a shit. Yeah. That's uh, quite bad, but okay. Because <laughs> she's already got minus 20%. Yeah, minus 20%. Plus another minus 3%. I assume it's minus 23% rather than minus 20%. One and a bit. Uh, well, 20 and a bit. You need to have the quick draw charm back. And... Was it the crit thing? Or just some damage versus... Yeah, where are we going then? Warrens. Damage versus Eldritch? Or Beast. Probably Beast in the Warrens. Eldritch is the wield. That makes more sense. More accuracy to range skills, and then there's the sniper's ring, which gives you... Well, I don't want too much more accuracy. That's plenty. So what we really want is, like, crit. More damage, less dodge. Eldritch, human. I'd like another beast slayer's ring. Yeah. Probably a bit less dodge than we need, but at least we remember trinkets, and that just already puts us at a slightly improved... Um, advantage over what we would have had if we hadn't done that. So this worked out well for us last time. We probably can't rely on it working well for us again, but I'm going to, so... And that was basically exactly enough torches. Maybe a few too f too many, but we don't know the layout of the room. Uh, we don't know the layout of the dungeon, of the rooms in the dungeon, so probably a good idea to err on the side of safety if we have to backtrack a lot. Oh, that seems good. Couple of those, some of those. Food and torches is all we really need. It's a short mission. I just go. <laughs> Press button. The swine are resistant to disease thanks to their unclean living. If that's how it worked, to prosecute our war against the it's swine, not how it works. We must first scout their squalid homes. We must scout their homes. So it doesn't matter who opens these. A handsome reward. Hundred gold. Good stuff. For a task well performed. More scouting would be nice, but we don't have the units that would allow us to carry the books. Normally it's the books that we carry on the Antiquarian to allow us to scout a little bit better. This is um, extremely valuable. We are scouting anyway. Maybe that's Erasmus. That's the only... Nope. Last gasp. More speed if HP below 50%. That's alright, isn't it? Uh, well, we know there's no battle in the room, but there's a battle on the way to the room. But there's a curio, so we might as well do it. 
I see no real reason not to explore the entire dungeon, even if uh, we can go home early. Unless we're really struggling, which so far has yet to be um, even a slight concern. Another abomination. I was considering doing a lunge, but no one's injured. Which means that if we use Erasmus's best skill early. We don't want to blow our load up. I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from in that respect. Why? Ah, you can't have to shoot that. <laughs> Might have to change up your things. Uh, here you go then. See if we can get you capable of hitting units besides the ones at the back. Probably should have checked on some of these units' actual skills and their levels um, in the blacksmith as well as in the guild because we have a lot of money. No, obviously, not obviously necessarily, but Execute in truth, we're here unit. to, you know, try to get As some mark, money for the so other people, for the high levels, to be able to upgrade. There's only um, blind fire, which actually, I think I prefer over because we have a vest. Oh, it's it's got a fucking padlock on it. What are you trying to do? Uh, because we have a vessel, I'd like to swap that out, but of course, I didn't unlock it, so we can't do that. Whatever. So we'll go in here, explore the room, consider it done, and then we'll go back. We're going to need a lot of money to upgrade the level 5s, that's for sure, but level 5s are basically at the peak of their upgrade in the blacksmith and in the guild. I mean, there are no more spaces to upgrade to in the blacksmith and in the guild, but then we will need to upgrade the blacksmith and the guild to to train the instructors to tr train the units. I mean, why we don't just train the units rather than train the instructors, I don't know, but there you go. Um, food? It might be. If it's not, I'm going to slap you. No, it's not. Slap! Asterisk, slap, asterisk. Um, this is a good time to lunge, I think. Well, that's disappointing, but okay. What I'm trying to say is we need the money to upgrade people besides these ones. And if we'd spend it all on these ones, then we don't have any money left. And that's the problem there. Sniper shot. Mostly I'm assuming that DT can finish off that one. Uh, I think DT is more likely to be able to finish off this, the worm thing, actually, so we'll guarantee that kill. You don't need to whinge about anything. Age 15 is very likely, indeed. Just do a... I mean, who cares? <laughs> Whatever. I mean, hopefully at least we come back with more money than we left with, than we had before we left. That's really the main goal. You go back there. And we'll keep keep on walking. Quit whinging. As long as we don't have to spend as much money on putting these people in for therapy. As, or more, uh, than we actually got from being in this mission in the first place. It's not that big a deal. 110, sure. Bit of stress relief. That's some of the stress that we got from the Viz run. There is no sparkle of coins, so of course you're not interested in it. I might sneeze. I apologise in advance, but I'm not going to mute the microphone. That would be far too professional. Ugh. <coughs> oh. Considering how loud that sneeze felt, the waveform on my other monitor has... Apparently I have cried with despair more loudly than that sneeze has happened. In fact, the words I just said were more loud than that sneeze. So there you go. If you thought sneezes were loud, think again. Take the money. We can sell some of these trinkets as well for a little bit of extra cash. That should pay for a couple of people's upgrades at the higher levels, at least in terms of the, the guild. No touchy. I'm still not sure about these. Um... Presumably, there's a great reward for beating it, but honestly, I'd rather just find a. I'd rather just find a secret room. Seven to fifteen could kill it. 
10 to 21 definitely could kill it. So I guess we try that. A crit of 31, which is perfect. See, that didn't leave a corpse, so it looks like if you one-shot crit it, no corpse. Disease? Bulimic. Okay. That's that. Not that. Not that. Not that. None of your special skills is a heal skill, so I don't really care. Why don't you... I, I honestly don't know what to do with you. <laughs> you can't hit straight anyway, so whatever. Now we need you. Four damage is not too bad. I guess uh, Vague here has a bunch of... Prop. Where's your prop? It's not telling me. Whatever. Eeny, meeny. Probably this one, it seems the closest to death. Oh. Yeah. Seems most likely. Oh, of course you rolled the lowest. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Give them no quarter. Start killing them from the back. It means that we don't have to worry about the corpses. Nine stress and no disease. No disease is fine with me. Just take this guaranteed kill. This unit doesn't get a go anyway. Everyone gets a bit of... Oh, my mistake. DT, uh, Vague gets a shitload of heals. Unit may get a go because we can't... Ah, oh, I should have marked it. Let's mark it. We can't mark it. To mark it, to mark it, to buy a fat pig. A bit of debuff resist will at least maybe help us avoid... Nah, it's not disease resist, so... We resisted it anyway. I'm hoping that's not a huge disease chance, because that seems a little bit cruel to have a particularly high chance of giving a disease every time that thing vomits. That would be just awful. I mean, disease resist against it helps, but honestly, I'd rather it had just a poor chance to disease in the first place. Uh, there's a trap there, so watch out. Well, it did watch out, so... Can't really be salty. The promise of safety. Yes, yes, it is. Open it. Come on. Wow. What a song and dance. For what? An empty bag? Come on. We have more things to worry about than that. That could kill it, but this is way more likely. Oh, we can't lunge at the back, which is really annoying. God, I'd really rather kill that. Well, maybe I wouldn't. Annihilated. The ability to kill the one that keeps diseasing us is probably nice. Ball and chain is okay. Probably a stun. Resisted the stun. Fine. It essentially did zero damage. This will reduce the prot on this, which has 15%. Or we could just try and kill straight up one of these. Which is not likely to happen on either of these. Or we could use this, which we don't tend to do. It doesn't clear any corpses, but it knocks it back quite a long way. It puts it into uh, a position where it doesn't really do anything useful. So that's two goes that that one's missed. For the sake of this pull, which did nothing to us anyway, I think that was worthwhile. Obviously the pull was risky. We didn't know that that unit was going to do such a lame attack. I'm fairly sure it can do stressful incantation from there. But apparently it chose not to. Yes. Not brilliant, but not terrible. Stumbling Scratch is low likelihood of hitting. Brings it forward one, but I think it has to do Stumbling Scratch again from there. That's a crit. Uh, that's okay. The stun is not necessarily great, but... Honestly, I don't think New Dutch over here has been... doing that much damage output. We've not had any battles where... Uh, what you're really trying to do. Um, it's 5 to 11, 6 to 12. We haven't had any battles where... You're trying to set up and then use the setup. So we've not been really marking. You know, we've not been applying. Has anything got a lot of dodge? Um, oh, good. Well done. We've not been applying marks. We've not been applying debuffs. We've not been buffing ourselves or any of that business. We've just been hitting things like that. So it's it's, it's not worth 
getting Dutch to set up a mark or getting Vague to set up a mark and then Dutch can use it, blah blah blah. Just, just throw daggers at things until they stop cursing you and then all the problems go away. Like that. Take all that. We'll continue adventuring because we'd like to look in here. This time we will actually use the key. Last time we forgot to use the key. Bit of a misplay, but at least last time when we forgot to use the key, we remembered to use the antiquarian, so it kind of balanced. As the light gains purchase. Oh, you don't want to look inside that for gold. Oh, look, fucking gold. The only time there was gold in something, you didn't look for the gold. What sort of hag ego plutomaniac are you? Huh? Huh? That was worth doing. This extra one corridor has actually been quite lucrative. Okay, good. That is literally everything, I believe. There was no secret room. We used our key correctly. We had two torches left, so I was right not to bring the extra ones. So let's just go home. I'm clicking here. Okay. Let's just go home. Yes, we're doing really well at clearing out these dungeons, although it's not like there is any actually clearing out the dungeons to be done. And as we go on, we've been doing low-level missions just as a sort of a, a taster, a, a, a bon mot to rejuvenate our appetite for the game after being off for a while. That's pretty bad. Uh, that could be bad too. Might want to have to spend some money to get rid of these. Um, but for, for now, we probably want to look at our higher levels more than we want to look at our lower levels. Shone. Let's get our higher levels, the we'll bring back more from the money. So we got about two grand from that. Not brilliant, but we gave Sir Jairus the opportunity to chill out. And we can start sending everybody back out again. Um, Let's see how people are. Let's just... um, no. Let's just click through these. You're leveled up. Well, obviously, we, we can't because we need more of the things. And then we will be able to. So we're nearly fully done on the guild here. But Really, you're a healer. I mean, there's no point in pretending. <clears throat> we're not using these vessels for anything else. These, all these people are fully upgraded. And most of the reason for that is we fully upgraded them at level 4. And we can't go any further just now. Not really using Blackjack. Uh, Jekry, you definitely get your things upgraded. Uh, not really using that. Battlefield Medicine is actually very good in several situations. I'm kind of tempted to open some of these, but it really depends on the party composition that we're thinking of taking out with us. Let's have everyone at level 5 looked at. Let's look at the blacksmith. Though. Ash is fully upgraded. Miri. Yeah, here you go. It's very expensive, but it is what it is. Let's have a look at what we can do with this set of people here. You are not playing anymore. Please go away. <clears throat> we will take Tim. Goodness me. Oh, it's a level 3 boss. That's not what we want. A level 5 mission. So that's the only thing that these people are even going to do. Is a level 5 mission. There's one here which is battles and it's short. So let's think about something like this where we put Tim at the front. Ash apparently is raring to go. Miri here and Jekri is pretty good at the back, although maybe Ash is preferred at the back. Uh, yeah, Ash is preferred at the back. Because although that's not their actual preferred position, um, these. Ash is a healer. Anything else that we can do is entirely a bonus. And in fact, we'd have to unlock judgment to get any value out of Ash in this position because these three are the only ones we can actually use here. Which means we're not using this, which we don't use anyway. Although the negative dodge debuff is pretty good. I'd rather have Jekry able to use... Oh, okay. That. There you go. Everyone's in an ideal position. And I think this seems like a good next run. It's very DPS heavy. <clears throat> There's no real tank. So we'll have to make sure we kit people out with the right set of... Uh, trinkets and we may be running away but we'll look at that in the next episode and that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching as we come back to the Darkest Dungeon after a little break I uh, hope you're still enjoying it hope you are getting on in your campaigns quite as well as I'm getting on in my campaigns not many people have died, knock on wood but there's still time yet 
And as any other. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.